Good day, everyone. My name is Maria Konjelska, and this is Poland Daily Culture. Today, we are going to talk about the most expensive Polish film production after City 44, the movie called The Legions. It is the first fiction film about Polish legions formed during World War I. We have in studio with us Maciej Pawlicki. Hello. Thank you for coming. My pleasure. Thank you for inviting me. But it is hard to talk about the film without watching it. So let's see a trailer. Family. Król. Miasto rodzenia. Polska. Нет такого места. A kim wy jesteście? Myślałem, że nigdy nie podejdziesz. To co, źle zrobiłam? Garstka dzieciaków naprzeciwko trzech imperiów. Trzeba trochę naprawić ten świat. A zostaniesz moją żoną? Kochasz go? Po co tu jesteś? Bojrzość! Jedynym waszym znakiem jest odtąd orzeł biały. Tylko, że polskiego wojska nie ma. Nigdy nie będzie. Chodź ze mną. Zobaczysz polskie wojsko. Nadchodź polskie! Uwani! The main story focuses on a love story. And it is triangle between Józek, Ola and... Tadek. Tadek, exactly. Um, could you tell us more about it and why such a complicated plot, well, figure? You know, a good film is boy meets a girl and what happened next. So uh, we have uh, actually two boys and one girl, the classic triangle. I can't tell you too much because uh, I don't want to spoil the, uh, the story, but uh, we, had, uh, we had this um, idea to show that they, come, they are coming from different uh, groups, different places. Ola, uh, Alexandra, is, is um, uh, a girl who is in the uh, intelligence service of the 1st Brigade, because it's, it is an, an unknown story, but there were many women, actually I think more than 40, in the intelligence of uh, 1st Brigade. Uh, there were 40 young uh, women. And the, this story is absolutely unknown absolutely un for the, for the yes. uh, audience. Mm. And what role was of Polish Well, of they were, they were uh, Aleksandra Szczerbińska was the head of it, and then future wife of Piłsudski. And they were simply gathering information, and sometimes they were doing certain actions, also fighting, uh, until I think, I think December, when December Piłsudski ordered to withdraw women from, from the fights, uh, but in the beginning they, they did. And it was an extremely important role. Uh, and they were also coming from the Liga Kobiet Pogotowe Wojennego. It was the yeah, Women's like, League of well, Emergency. Emergency in Polish Army, something yes, and, like and, this. And they were, so they were not only providing, uh, well, what we could imagine, they were nurses, they were providing uh, um, cooking uh, and... and uh, Everyday uh, help uh, yeah, and aid, yes. Preparing uniform, like log all the logistics. We, we can imagine that. But they were also fighting and dying. So that, that in is the battle, they were fighting yes, in the battle. Yes, yes. Oh, that's that's extremely unknown. So, so, so this there is, is a pe like women female scratch in the history of well, Polish it's legions. Not actually, actually scratch because by percentage it was not a big percentage. Yeah. But, but uh, they were especially uh, after legions because the legions were uh, uh, dis dismantled uh, uh, in uh, 1916, and then there were other ways other organi organizations like POW, Polska Organizacja Wojskowa, Polish military organization. And there, uh, there were many women uh, in there, especially in Eastern Poland. So we wanted to show the, um, uh, the, active, uh, the active women. Actually, it was my, my uh, uh, older daughter who wrote the first uh, uh, version of the script. He said, well, there are two uh, male characters and there is a girl who is just watching uh, them and waiting what they w would do. So I, is the one gonna die? Which well, <laughs> have the result of this problem? And she said, "No, you can't. You, you, you mustn't do it. She has to be active." So oh, she see. inspired us, and and we did. Uh, we went that um, uh, that way. So it, it really did help the, the film. That that Ola is the uh, absolutely. Um, 
strong um, uh, partner for the two for the two others. And and then well, there is there is a love between them, and there is a third one coming, and there is uh, some some problems. I can't tell you, but uh, the inspiration for us was the story of uh, well the famous probably Polish cavalryman uh, Ulan uh, Bolesław Wieniawa Dugoszowski, the story of his love. And this is he, uh, this is Jusek, kind of? Uh, Jusek is a deserter it's from a tsar, it's, Tsarist it's army. It's rather Tadek, yes, uh, but, but it's not exactly like in, 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 in marriage of Dugoszowski, but yes, it was inspiration. And Jusek and Tadek comes from, uh, while Ola comes from um, Strzelec, which was an organization, a rifleman, yeah, uh, which was uh, 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 related rather to Pe Pe Polish Socialist Party. I see. And Tadek comes from uh, Drużyny Strzeleckie rifle squads. Yeah. They uh, sound similar, but they were rivals and they were, they were so uh, he also... he was more, an, I would say, conservative... Like or? a gentry, like a good, good uh, um, family, good education, like a uh, wealthier. So, uh, and they, ha they are coming and uh, uh, and it was related to national democracy, this, this group. Uh, and then, uh, and then Juzek, who is Mr. Nobody, he, because he's a... Deserter a, from a Tsarist army, yes, yes. who barely speak Polish and... No, he does, He doesn't he's... write, <laughs> he cannot write. He cannot write. But Sebastian Fabiański plays him. Yes. So at least he's very handsome. Well, Bartek is not less handsome, I would say. Bartek means uh, Tadek, um, Bartek Gellner. Uh, but we wanted to uh, bring a character that would be, to some extent, uh, that... Uh, I'm, I'm not saying that um, uh, our audience <laughs> cannot write, but I'm saying that there are many of them would not share the feelings of Ola, of Tadek, who were praying for this war, who wanted this war, who were waiting for this occasion. But Juzek is the one who is, doesn't want to fight for anyone. Uh, he doesn't understand why should he uh, risk his life for anything, for, for Russia, for, for uh, Polish officers, for whoever. And, and so he is like, uh, 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 he's concentrated on his own personal goals and he thinks he doesn't need anybody, need anybody to, to, to fulfill his, his goals. So how goals. actually he gets from the Tsarist army to the Polish legions? I can't tell you. You will see <laughs> very shortly. I'm, I'm very interested. Uh, well, he run, he runs away from the from the uh, Russian army, and he somehow happens uh, finds finds himself between the legionaries, not understanding them, not understanding their their fights, their tensions, their discussions, uh, and he just wanted wants to use them. Uh, for his own goal, but then the reality comes. Because they were Russian citizens uh, in the Polish Legion's army, or in the Polish well, Legion's. All the, the, well, uh, Poland was uh, didn't, didn't divided it, it existed, was divided into Russia, Germany, and Austria. Uh, so, in the Russian army, there were hundreds of thousands of Poles. They were incorp incorporated in the army by force. They, they couldn't refuse. And Juzek was one of them. They were simply... And suddenly they, they, they were given an alternative and a yes, chance yes, to but, fight, but, but, but many, on the Polish side. Yes, many, many did and many did not. And uh, the other huge group, hundreds of thousands of Poles were incorporated, incorporated into Austrian or German armies. This was a very tragic story because sometimes they were forced to to fight uh, one against the others. And they were so Poles, Poles in different unimor, uniforms were fighting, were killing themselves for the oppressors, for the invaders. Uh, and it is very uh, also untold story. And we, we wish we could go in this direction, but the movie is uh, already two hours or more long. But this is an extremely in interesting um, story about these who were uh, those Poles who were incorporated into um, Russian or uh, the Austrian or German armies. So Juzek is one of them. He runs away and he finds himself in the Polish army. So this is the turning point. And could you share with us at least uh, one scene of a plot or something which is um, for example, you're a scene which you are very proud yourself of. 
Well, I am proud of many scenes, although uh, some that we had to we had to do some sometimes some corrections due to the circumstances. But on the other hand, certain scenes were more beautiful than we expected. So, uh, such as uh, well, for instance, uh, uh, certain uh, battle scenes like in Kostyuchnovka, because there we have another huge battle. Uh, Rokitna is is a horse. Horse yeah. battle and Kostyuchnovka is uh, is uh, uh, infantry battle, like majority of battles in World War, World War One, the Great War, yeah, as, as they were saying at that time. Uh, so um, sometimes we had uh, extraordinary uh, weather circumstances, and our uh, the director of photography Arek Shoda did such beautiful uh, shots that I hope he, at least I think he deserves to get the prize at some festival for that. Oh, I hope so, fingers crossed. But uh, we can see uh, in a fragment of the movie the exchange of the signs between, what does it symbolize? Well, as I said, they were in, in Oleandri, on Oleandri Park, because the, there was a, like a, this preparation camp for them in August uh, uh, in 1914. And there were uh, those riflemen, the, the shallots, uh, gr a group of, of young mm, uh, people and the other Druzhinist Szelecki uh, rifle squads. And they were, there were tensions and they were n not happy with one uh, with each other there. They were, um, there was some uh, r rivalry, uh, not, not only. And, and then Piłsudski came and we show this famous scene using exactly his words, a, a, a very, uh, a very uh, own words of the speech he delivered at that, at that time. He said, uh, you, you, there is no more rifle, uh, riflemen, there is no more rifle squads, uh, there, is only, there are only Polish soldiers. You are all Polish soldiers, and as a sign of a brotherhood, uh, exchange the insignia, ex ex exchange your eagles, yes. uh, let uh, riflemen give it to rifle squads and, uh, and exactly. uh, <laughs> the other way. And uh, this scene shows that Piłsudski, uh, he had that charisma to unite, to, to unite, to, to show them that there is no, the, the tensions between them and the differences between them uh, are okay, but not for this moment. For this moment, they have to unite, and as he says, fight under the white eagle. So it's a movie about Polish victory and of the necessity of unity. Exactly. And I hope it will be the message for our viewers that aside of the differences, there is a common goal which we have to achieve.